Are you nervous? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm actually really excited. It's an honor to be here. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Hanging with the Homie. On this special video of Hanging with the Homie, we are doing a highly requested mukbang. So I have Sabrina here with me. Hey, y'all. And I'm gonna tag Sabrina's Instagram. Y'all go follow her social media. Um, what we're gonna do is we have our crab legs, our shrimp, our sauces, our potato, our boiled eggs. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna have people ask us some questions or some topics, and we're just gonna enjoy our food and just have a little discussion. So stay tuned. Before we get into this food, I hope y'all notice. Our eyelashes. Um, Get into it. So I just started a line. Um, it's beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. And the first product that I have are eyelashes. So I'm gonna put the link to my Instagram down below. Make sure y'all check out my Coco and grab me some bomb lashes. Get into it. Okay. What is your name? Wait. First of all, I told them mine. It's spicy. It's spicy. So, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Big Homie Coco, but my mama calls me Jalara, <laughs> J-U-L-A-R-A, -A. not Jalisa, not Jalana, not Julia, not Jalara, not Jalaria. I feel like people have been messing up my name my whole life, so my name is Jalara. I'm from California, the West Coast, the best coast, okay? Yeah, this is exactly what she says every single time someone asks where she's from. I'm from the West Coast, the best coast. I'm from the West Coast, the best coast. Um, I'm from Lancaster. I'm from the desert. Ain't too much to say about that, so. Where are you from? I am from South Florida. Florida. Wow, you said Fort Lauderdale. You pronounce the R. Florida. Mm, not a lot of people pronounce the R. They be like Florida. I'm from Florida. Somebody calling you. Who's calling you? Do you want to answer it? No, I think I'm Why? Nice. Okay. Why are your phone light up? Because it's all I have to set up. You don't have a sidekick so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So it wouldn't be right if we didn't take some shots. Look me in my eyes. <laughs> Look me in my eyes. Are you gonna be romantic with it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. What is your favorite liquor or your favorite go to drink? Tequila. Ooh. What type of tequila? Personally, I prefer Don Julio Anejo. Ooh. Chilled. Ooh. What about you? I already know. What? I'm like a, you know I'm a fruity kind of person. Like, if it ain't sweet, I ain't drinking it. She like that but fruity stuff. Sacks on the beach. Uh, margaritas. Amarada sour. You have ever had amarada sour? Yes, that's my favorite drink. <laughs> what would you not drink? Like, oh my gosh, that, especially Tito, if it's warm, listen, try taking a shot of warm to keep, um, Tito's. I won't drink no vodka. It burns your throat. No. Like, I don't care what it is. If somebody says, you want some vodka? Mm -mm. I will take some water over vodka. I will drink tomato juice Ew. over vodka. I will not. Mm -mm. You remember when you were on the plane and you had tomato Let's, juice? Let's not, <laughs> like, not talk about that. He was like, we not talking about that. Okay, we can talk about it. <laughs> so she I put out some And she put out some tomato juice. And she was like, chips and salsa. She's like, you want some? I'm like, hell no. What? You just dip them, them kettle chips in that, um, in that, um, what's it called? Bloody Mary mix? Let's call it chips and salsa. If you're a flight attendant and you're watching this right now, please like this right now because y'all know y'all made y'all own little snack on the plane. You know what's a common one? When you're starving, you gotta do what you gotta do. They'll dip the, um, the biscoff cookies in orange, orange juice. juice. And it tastes like key lime pie. Yes. Y'all, get into it. Mm. Okay, so I'm about to check to see what was one of the Instagram questions that was asked. 
Uno, let me throw a four, five, four. <laughs> Ooh, you speak, you speak of the Espanol. You know a little. <laughs> you know Top three overrated trends. Specify. Overrated trends. One thing that I don't like that it's a trend right now is people are bragging about being toxic. That's weird. It's not cute to be toxic or crazy or bragging about slicing somebody's tires or, you know what I'm saying? Like that's overrated to me. Like, being toxic, toxicity is overrated. Being a, being a bad, being a bad B. I think a lot of women try to portray themselves on social media as being like this bad B. Like just be no, you. I like my simple life. Believe it or not, somebody somebody is watching you and you don't even know it. I'm about to be real deep right now. <laughs> somebody is watching you and you don't even know it and you're too busy trying to be this bad B or this Instagram model and you don't see that somebody really like admires you for who you really are. So I think being um, being boo bad and bougie. I guess you're just trying to keep up with, keeping up with the Joneses, that's how they yeah. say it. Yeah, I feel like that's overrated. I, don't eat. I would say another trend would be acting like you got it when you don't. Like be realistic. Like you don't have to keep up with nobody. You don't have to, period. You don't have to wear the brand name stuff or drive the expensive car or, that's corny to me. Like, let me tell you about my friend and I'm gonna give him a shout out. So one of my, so my best guy friend, J.R. Shooter. <laughs> he gonna be mad. <laughs> he gonna be mad. <laughs> he had posted himself like with some money. Like he had like a whole bunch of money. You know what I did? I blocked him. That's corny to me. Like, I don't like it. So, yeah. Overrated. Next. But, okay guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this mukbang with us. We are currently on a little break right now. We're sitting up the hookah. We're getting some more shots in. And I'm on a FaceTime call. But, you know, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And also, please be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that good stuff. What's your name? Sabrina Kelly. Man, you'll drop that stuff. I'm gonna drop it, but that's the same thing I said. What's on your long-term bucket list? What do I really wanna do? I don't know. Um, I want to go to Africa. Ooh. I really want to go to Africa. Like, I've been talking about that for like the last three years. You know how to swim? Yeah, no. Huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do know how. I guess, yeah, you can say I know how to swim. Do, so, do you know how to swim? Yeah, I know how to swim. But. What? <laughs> I know how to swim, but not in a big body of water like that because I feel like I would panic. <laughs> Why? Because you don't know where the bottom is? You just have to do like this. Basically, <laughs> like a pool, I'm perfectly fine. The ocean? Oh, I'm scared of the ocean. Mm -mm. I mean, I like the ocean. I love the ocean. I love beaches. But you not gonna catch me like, cause when I come to you, mm -mm, you ain't gonna catch me in that water bag like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Are you almost done with No, I'm just trying to take my time. Uh oh. <laughs> I've been over here busting down. <laughs> Listen, y'all, my stomach been touching my back. No, no, I can't even say my back, my bike. <laughs> my bike. B Y K B Y K E. Mm. Right. You got shrimp too? I got three left. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take my side with a strip because you know they were stingy with it. I could break my alphabet. Hidden talent time. Oh, I guess the boom talent. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G. 
G H I J K L A E O B E Talented. It's hanging with the homies. And at this point, you guys, we are drunk. AF. Hey, uh, don't say that. What? Well, we're not gonna hold nothing back. My mama's but watching. Um, hey, hey mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you have plans for this YouTube channel that you're starting? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that you asked. Aww. So, mm -hmm. what I have planned for my YouTube is basically, I feel like I'm very authentic. And I just want to show YouTube and whomever is watching the authentic me. <laughs> That's not like a pageant question. No, but for real, like when I was starting my YouTube, like, and I was doing my intros and stuff, I find my I found myself doing a whole. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I really want to be like my authentic self. Like this is how I am, twenty four seven. I'm. Full of energy, like this is the crazy stuff that I do with my friends, and I just wanted y'all to see what I got going on. Quote unquote. I really just wanted to show y'all, YouTube, whoever is watching. It doesn't matter who's watching me. It could be my mom, it could be my my family, my YouTube family, my Instagram family, my Twitter family, my Facebook people, people who don't even know me, who accidentally clicked on this. I just wanna show y'all who I am, what I'm doing, um, how I'm hanging, the friends I'm hanging with. So yeah, that's what I have coming on this YouTube channel. And I just wanna thank y'all for even getting to this point and watching this video because you don't have to be here, mm -hmm. but you're here with us right now. Okay, but for a second, let's just get into this boiled egg. If you never had it. Y'all, get into it. If you never had a, a bag of seafood, you're gonna, get, you're gonna get your meat. So whether it be crawfish, shrimp, crab, lobster, whatever, you're gonna get your potato, you're gonna get your corn. But the best part is this boiled egg. So what advice could you give to anyone that's younger than you, that's like, you know, either trying to start a business up or start a YouTube, uh, a YouTube channel? Like, you know, what could you like, you know, say to someone who's younger, you know? My advice to anyone, younger or older, would be don't doubt yourself. Um, do what you want to do and do it 100%, 110%. Don't ever doubt yourself because um, I can only speak from my personal experience. When I started my my line, my boutique, I had a certain number of lashes that I wanted to sell and I doubted myself. I didn't think that I could do it. But um, within the first 11 days of me launching my business, I sold out of all the inventory that I had online. So my advice would be to never doubt yourself. Ever, never, ever, ever. Because you don't know what you're capable of. Um, and if you don't reach your own expectations, it's okay because it's your business. So you're allowed to mess up and start over and do it again. You your own boss. You're your own boss. So you gotta do what do what you wanna do because ultimately you're the one that knows what makes you happy. So don't depend on anyone else. Don't have expectations on anyone else's behavior because with expectations come disappointment. So just do what you wanna do, do what makes you happy. And if it doesn't work, get up and try it again because so what? Ain't nobody gonna, ain't nobody gonna know that you messed up. But you. That's right. So, yeah. Period. I would just love to let y'all know that I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you for hanging with me today. Sabrina, thank you for hanging with me today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That way, the next time I'm hanging, you can hang too. Hey, 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 hey,